So I have been asked to carry out an inspection and maintenance of this system. So you can see here, there's a single acting, or a double acting cylinder with a directional control valve. There are electrical relays here, switches here and a power supply. Pipes to provide the air to the system. There are two um, magnetic reed switches there and there. And there's a compressor supplying air to the system. So I've been asked to carry out inspection and maintenance of this system. So first things first, whenever you're carrying out a maintenance and ins inspection task, you have to make sure that you do certain things. For one thing, think safety to begin with. So is the area clear and tidy? Yeah, the work area is cleared and reasonably tidy. So that would be one of the key things. Have you got tools for the job? Have you got the correct PPE? So in this case, I have safety glasses, which I'm putting on now. The other thing that you would need to consider when inspecting a piece of equipment is look at the operator's manual, which I am looking at here for this job, and understand what the system is meant to do. So to begin with, as I said, safety first. So I'm reading, checking the safety precautions and work instructions. So it tells me about mechanical risks, electrical and pneumatic risks that I need to be aware of. So it's useful information before carrying out inspection. Then I would read more specific information about the machine. So here I'm looking at um, what this system is meant to do. So this is a general schematic of the system. It tells me about the control sequence here. So the sequence is started by pressing a push button. If bottles are present, the diverting cylinder piston rod is advanced. The bottles are diverted and transported to the second conveyor belt. The sequence is stopped by pressing the second push button. So that gives me a grasp of the general output, what the system should do. I should also inspect the pneumatic diagram so here is the pneumatic diagram, and here is the electrical diagram. So it tells me that there's a directional control valve which controls the cylinder. There are flow control valves to control speed. There's the compressor feeding air to the system. Electrically, we have a latch and circuit, start and stop, a number of relays, one, two, and three, Magnetic um, reed switches to indicate where the cylinder is. So that's those. 1B1. 1B1 tells me when the cylinder is fully retracted. 1B2 tells me when the cylinder is fully extended. Our relay contacts then are controlling the two solenoids. 1M1 and 1M2. 1M1 and 1M2. So I'll just point those out on the circuit in a second on the system. Now, what you'll also find in uh, some operator's manuals is a more detailed step-by-step -step, um, detail of how the system will move. So this tells me about its initial position, which will be fully retracted, what happens in step one, what happens in step two, and so on. And then I would get a list of components that were available. So that's all really a useful information to review when you're carrying out inspection and maintenance. That's all the information. So before I carry out the inspection, I would have all power off if possible. And I would have a general look at the condition of the cables. So the condition of the cables looks pretty good. No bare wires, nothing loose, nothing hanging where it shouldn't hang. I would have a look at the condition of the equipment. So is the cylinder fixed 
in position. If, for example, it had been running for a long time, we might find that it, it's slightly loose. So if I loosen this off, just so that you can see. So if you moved it, you might find that it's moving, and that is not a good idea. So that would be one of the first things that you would repair, to make sure everything is tight. So we've got our reed switches in here. They look um, in good condition. The cables to them look in good condition. We have solenoids here, inspect the directional control valve. Solenoid here and solenoid here. Again, no corrosion, in acceptable condition. Cables are um, in good condition also. And then uh, our pipework. Pipework seems secure, seems secure. And again, so in general, before running the system, Initial inspection, everything looks in reasonably good shape. Now, the compressor then. We've got to carry out certain maintenance tasks on the compressor. So, um, you can check to see if we are at system pressure. So, the, the, the book told me that this system should run at 6 bar. Currently our compressor is at 3 bar, so I can adjust that up to 6 bar. System's now set at 6 bar. So we can see now that the gauge is working. And we can now that we've set it in the right place, we can lock it. I can see here that uh, there's some liquid in the water trap. So I would um, remove that liquid through the, the drip point here. Check the lock off valve. Is it working correctly? It is. So that'll stop air going to the system when necessary. And um, you can also check condition of the pipes here. And you can also check to see is the safety valve working. So there are oil. So there's an oil um, point, oiling point here, and there's an inspection glass here. So that inspection glass, you can see there's a marker here. The idea would be that the oil should be midway up the glass, and you can see it's a little low here, so there'll be some oil needed to go in there is where the oil should be so it's a little bit low so we need some oil in there and we can put oil in through this point here what else uh, general inspection any corrosion any excessive corrosion this is a pressure vessel to so the safety there's a necessity that this vessel be in good condition because it's under pressure. The air inside is under pressure. If there's water here, then there's likely there could be water in this vessel and you don't want that to be there. So the water can be removed through this um, drain off port. So you can put a pipe on there, take it to a, a drain or collect it in a, in a tank, open that up, let the excess of water out. You don't want water getting into the valves, into the air system. So the check the oil level, check our um, gauge, our stop valve. We check the system was locked. We can also, there will be a little bit of noise here, but we can also check is the safety valve in good condition. This is the safety valve. By pulling that, we're checking is the spring going to allow that air to escape when necessary. So that's the safety valve. So we've carried out a general inspection. We know we have oil to put in. So if I put the oil in, drain the water, I'll just stop the video here and do that. Again, safety, use the correct tools, have PPE on, collect any hazardous, hazardous material, 
and dispose of it correctly. So I'll do that. I'll stop this recording. I will do those little tasks and then we'll run the system and see if it functions correctly.